Hello everyone, welcome to European Ticket. I'm Ashwin, uh, I'm currently in Italy and I'm doing my uh, second semester in Masters in Food System. And in this video, I'll be introducing you to the Food Masters program that I'm pursuing and along with that, I'll be sharing my experience. Also, we, the admission procedures that are related to this program. So, ERT Food is an organization uh, co-founded by European Union they have partnered among seven different universities across Europe to design this two-year master's program. So in this uh, program, uh, uh, they focus on eight different major areas and each has got different path. Among them, I'm focusing on circular food system and my path begins from uh, University of Hohenheim, Germany, uh, where we are introduced to uh, food science and engineering. And uh, in my second semester uh, is in University of Turin, Italy. Uh, here, we, uh, where I am currently now, uh, here we are learning more about functional foods and legislation. After the second semester, and uh, in between second semester and third semester, we are having a ten days of residential uh, school. Uh, residential school is mainly designed to nurture the entrepreneurial skill among students. And in my third semester, we'll be moving to uh, Aarhus University in Denmark, uh, where we emphasize mainly on uh, future foods and novel food product development. So be, uh, before moving to the admission procedures, uh, students belonging to acad academic backgrounds such as food technology, food science engineering, engineering, dairy technology, nutritional science, and biotechnology are, are relevant to this master's program. In the admission procedure, uh, we have to like uh, you have to first uh, begin uh, an application in the MFS website. I'll be providing that web, uh, website in the description box. And once you created an application, you have to start uploading the documents uh, such as a passport, uh, a cover letter, and uh, but no, uh, nowadays it has changed. And now the they are asking for a motivational video and uh, a, a curriculum vita the english proficiency and these are the uh, uh, documents that are required for the application and along that there are a uh, uh, few questions that you should uh, answer in the application portal once you submit the application you will be receiving an email for the interview from the university and if you complete the interview successfully and if you are selected you will be receiving an acceptance letter from the university and once you accept that they will be providing you two options uh, either to uh, accept the offer and make the payment of, uh, of uh, that is full standard fees or you could apply for a scholarship if you are uh, preferring to pay the full standard fees and uh, get, uh, to procure a seat then you will have to make a 50 percentage deposit fees of your uh, as uh, deposit fees which is a 50 percentage of your semester fees uh, that is around uh, 4500 euros and but uh, if you are preferring for a scholarship then there are three types of scholarship av available and uh, which is type A in which 100 percentage of your fees will be waived and in type B uh, 90 percentage of your fees will be waived and in type C 80 percentage of your fees will be waived. Even in this case also if you are receiving a scholarship you will have to uh, make the pay, uh, you will have to make a deposit fees which is 50 percentage of your semester fees and here uh, for me I received a type C scholarship which for which uh, my 80 percentage of the fees was waived. So once you make the deposit fees uh, and uh, there is one thing to rem uh, rem uh, remember once you accept it, uh, accept the offer you have to make the uh, deposit fees within seven days of the acceptance and once you make the deposit uh, payment of the deposit fees uh, you will be getting an admission letter with which you could uh, start the visa admission uh, visa application procedures once you receive the acceptance from the university you could start the uh, application for the visa so in this case, you have to apply for the visa to the country of your home university. Uh, for instance, in my case, uh, since my home university was uh, University of Hohenheim, which is in Germany, I have to apply for a German visa. 
So uh, to apply for a German visa, there are a set of documents which are required, and the uh, important ones among them are uh, your admission letter, a blocked account confirmation letter, and a health insurance letter. And uh, you also uh, and to start the application, you also have to pay a application fee, which is around seven thousand INR in my country. And uh, once you finish the application. You, it, it would take usually around one to two months to get an uh, an approval from them, and the in, uh, and initially you will be getting an visa which is uh, valid for six months, and you could uh, extend it further once you uh, reach in the country. So once you receive the visa, uh, you could travel to your home uh, home country. And uh, once you reach there, uh, you have to uh, complete a few of the registration process as well as uh, choosing your electives, uh, and which would be for which you would be getting assistance from the program coordinator. So uh, in in my case, uh, as I said, my program coordinator helped me to complete all these and uh, for also selecting the subjects. And there I choose. Uh, I was having four subjects, and uh, when talking about the workload, it was not that hectic i was able to manage uh, and also i did a uh, part time job there which was uh, i was able to meet both my studies as well as my job so uh, before talking more about your journey through the this masters program uh, as all as all courses have this program is also having its own pros as well as cons so before talking uh, about the pros i'll just uh, say some of the cons that are related to this program that is uh, uh, initially you will be uh, you will be having a little un uncomfortable uh, in shifting from one place to another as well as finding accommodation uh, but uh, in my opinion it is worth because you are having uh, an opportunity to explore different uh, three different countries and to get to know more about their culture and you are also uh, being guided by top lecturers from three different top universities across the Europe and also uh, EIT has designed this program in such a way that you are you will you will get an op opportunity to and you are getting exposed to uh, top different food uh, university uh, sorry food industries in the in the Europe and this would act, uh, this would actually help you in your future uh, to make connections in the food industries and as i said these have uh, helped many of uh, many of the previous bad students to procure uh, a industrial thesis also so thanks for watching the video if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please like share and subscribe bye